day 23 in our Advent Reflections. We're getting there. Uh, 2020, I, I think for most of us, has been a year where all of a sudden uh, we find ourselves interested in politics and government. Uh, whether we were there before or not, we've been looking to our leaders uh, to make wise decisions, to balance priorities, to guide us through this crisis. We've been tuning in regularly. Uh, what tier are we in? Are we going into lockdown or not? It's been an incredibly challenging year for the country and also uh, for those in power. Um, let's read Luke chapter 1, verse 32 and 33. Continue to listen to the angels uh, to learn something more about Jesus, who we've seen as the Saviour and the Son of God. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. So we discover about Jesus, he will be a king. Like his ancestor David, he will rule for God. And did you notice the length of his rule and reign? We're told his kingdom will never end. Long live the king indeed. In Jesus' day, the people were desperate, desperately hoping that God would send his king. They wanted their suffering and their oppression to end. They wanted freedom and the dawning of hope. In our own way, I imagine we could probably identify with that. As we look around the world, as we think about this year and indeed any year, we see upon careful reflection that the world is not the way we would want it to be. And we recognise too that no king, no politician, no government system is able to create the perfect utopia our hearts are longing for. So again, here's another part of the good news of Christmas and the coming of Jesus. King Jesus has come to establish the world you and I want, the world our hearts long for. In his defeat of sin and death at the cross and in his victory over death, three days later at the resurrection, he begins to set up the kingdom of God. And the question is, What's the kingdom of God like? When it's fully established, when Jesus comes back again, what will it be like? Well, you can go to the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, to find out. And there's beautiful uh, words in Revelation chapter 21. We're told uh, that when uh, the king is forever established and there is a, a new world restored, it will be a world free of sickness. There will be no pandemic in eternal glory. It's a world free of disease and pain and tears. It is a world that will be free of anger and fighting, breakdown of relationships. The future for the people of God is a world where no one dies, where love never ends. And most importantly, it's a world in which we get to be like Jesus and we get to see Jesus and King Jesus rules perfectly in love forever. It's a world made right, but it will never be broken again. Jesus is the one king who is able to deliver on the glorious promises that he announces. How can I say that? Because of the cross and the empty tomb. They are proof. So let me encourage you, trust Jesus as your king today.